Well, every day the St. Andrew Baptist Church Food Bank volunteers give out food to people in need. This year they expect to serve about 60,000 people, the most in the food bank's 25-year history. As News 13's Thomas Schultz tells us, the meals have helped Bay County residents get their lives back on track. Residents walked away from the St. Andrew Baptist Church Food Bank Thursday morning with their arms full of boxes of food. You might want to put that like down on the floorboard or something where it doesn't spill. Organizers say they fed 75 families. We'll be out in just a minute with it, I think. Let's take a look. Five days a week, volunteers have given away food, clothes, and other supplies to people struggling in Bay County. Volunteers expect to give food to 60,000 people this year. How are you doing, sweetie? Is it okay if she gets a drink and a snack? Okay, I'll be right back. Some have used the food bank for years. This food bank here is um, a, a godsend. Barbara Hooks has lived in Bay County for 70 years. When Hurricane Sally hit, she says her RV in Bayou George was destroyed. She was homeless for months. Hooks says the food bank helped her get back on her feet and into an apartment. It really it helped put my life back together. And I, and I know several people that feel that way. You know, at the, at the homeless mission where I was at, um, a lot of the ladies come here and have come here, and it's even helped them get back on their feet also. Hi. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Gunner Thrasher retired a few months ago. Now he volunteers at the food bank twice a week. It's time for me, you know, to start giving back. Uh, it's the right thing to do in life. Soon, he plans to add another day of volunteering to his schedule. My name's Gunner. To give box after box of food. Oh my goodness. To those who need it most. In Panama City, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Panhandle Straw. If you would like to donate to the food bank, you can find out how on our website, mypanhandle.com.